If you see sus in a chord, this is short for suspended, and it tells you what notes you need to add into a chord, and it sounds like they're just hanging there before they come back down again. For instance, C sus4 tells me I should be playing the fourth note, F, if this is uh, in C, which it is, instead of the major third, E. So instead of playing this major third, I play an F instead. And that leads really naturally back to C major. You can also have sus2, which means I can play a D along with my C chord. Then that, again, that leads naturally back to C major again. Okay, a better use of this, if you see sus without a number, it's probably implying that both the two and the four are played, so that would be D and F, along with a flat seventh. So in the case of C, that would be, we've got our C and we've got our D, F and our B flat, just like in our dominant seventh chord. Now that sounds awesome and it leads very nicely onto, well in this case, leads nicely onto F. Quite a jazzy sort of uh, chord jump there. If you can't remember that, an easier way of thinking about it is thinking that you're actually playing the notes for B flat major in your right hand while playing C in your left hand. So you've got your B flat, you've got your D, and you've got your F, and then we're playing C in the left hand. Quite cool. Notice that the two and the four notes in those instances are played in the middle of the chords. If you see any chord that has a six next to it, like this, it's telling you to play the sixth note as well. So for C, that will be an A. So we've got a chord of C major. Let's add a six into that. That's going to be our A. Again, if we can change the um, inversion of that, we get this. Okay. Now, again, if you see a nine on the end of a chord, it's telling you to, in this case, play a D. However, you might realize that nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is a D, the same as two. So why on earth would we have two and nine? Well, if you see a nine, it's implying that this note, that this sustained note should be at the top of your chord. So it's gonna sound like this. Instead of this, or this. It's actually gonna be at the top of your chord, an octave higher. And that's also why you might see on music 11, which is the same as a fourth, but that's an octave or uh, higher or at the top of your chord, and even 13. That's a sixth, an octave higher again. Quite often you'll see six and nine together, which means that you play both in the chord. It sounds quite cool. It sounds like this. So there you go. Those are your sustained notes. It's all sorted. Have fun.